Hello and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall. My name is JB Lewis and I will be taking on the next big challenge in the Nancy Drew game series. I understand I have not quite finished my Let's Play of the Deadly Device yet, but it is going to be ending soon. Uh, pretty much almost all the videos have been recorded. Uh, but I did want to go ahead and start this game because I'm really excited to do this and I figured I could just upload a video of each per day so we wouldn't have to lose any uh, progress on the deadly device. A couple of things before I start this. First of all, this Let's Play will not be blind, unfortunately. I have uh, beaten the game as of tonight and I was starting to record a blind Let's Play of it, but honestly, it was bad timing. I was very tired, not in a very good mood, I was not doing very well, and the videos were just very boring. So eventually I resigned myself to just going ahead and playing the game through without recording, and oddly enough at that point I actually started doing pretty well, uh, which was kind of a bummer in some ways. But um, I did eventually beat the game uh, with a few hints, uh, on amateur sleuth mode, and I'm going to try let's playing it on master sleuth mode. So, unfortunately I can't be blind, but I hope it'll still be fun to watch, and hopefully it'll be much more fun than what I had recorded before. Uh, one thing before we start, um, there's a new feature in this game called Fast Convo. For those of you who have played uh, Nancy Drew games before, this is something that hasn't been in a game prior to this one in which you can skip the dialogue if you feel uh, like you've read enough and you want to move on. I'm not going to be doing this for this Let's Play because I do want to hear all of what the characters have to say. Sometimes some of the things they say and the way they say them can reveal a lot, and I think it's very important to hear that and see uh, their expressions and whatnot. There is a bit of a bug in this game uh, that I've noticed, and it may just be some weird performance issue, but at least when I was recording the first time, the character's speech uh, lasted shorter than the animations of, of their lip movements and whatnot, and it seemed to happen only when I recorded, so if it does happen here, I do apologize for that, but as far as I know, it's unavoidable. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned, I'll be doing Master Sleuth. I have not actually played the game on this difficulty, but I do know uh, basically what the puzzles are, so hopefully it won't be too hard. Mm. Oh, we're in Nancy's room. Well, let's answer the phone. Uh, what time is it? Late. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. Hmm. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessa needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. So off to Thornton Hall we go. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Alright, thanks Mr. Fairman. And now we're off to Thornton Hall. Well, there's nothing we can see around here, so let's just keep moving forward. Well, it looks like a very friendly place. 
and right now we've got only one task, and that is to find the missing Jessalyn. But before we go forward, there's a few things uh, that I should probably point out for those who don't know them. First of all, the girl who called us, uh, Savannah Woodham, is a character from a previous uh, Nancy Drew game called Shadow at the Water's Edge. She helped us out in a case on, or on a case in Japan, and now we're going to be doing a favor for her, it seems like. Although we got to find out why uh, she couldn't come, besides the whole uh, uh, her being afraid of this place. Looks like we got a marker here with the letter T on it. And a note! Well, this note appears to have some sort of list uh, that involved a scavenger hunt. Well, we'll take a look at that more later on, but for now I'm just going to keep moving on toward the house. And see what's going on here. Jessalyn? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. It's okay, man. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Yes. Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Hey, Colton. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. Hmm. You might need this. I found it in the house. Appears to be a cell phone. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Okay, we'll be sure to try that. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. Ooh. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. Good one there, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. Alright, so that's Colton, Jesselyn's fiancé. We'll definitely have to keep our eye out on him. Uh... Okay, that's kind of creepy. Was someone just listening in on our conversation with Colton? Hmm. Well, we'll have to think about that later, but for now, we got ourselves a hammer here. If I had a hammer, do 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 do, hammer in the morning, do do hammer in the evening, and whoa, this place is really dark. Yeah, this place is not exactly uh, up with the times. Let's see what's in here. Oh, another person. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Hey, Clara. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Well, if you have all this money, why not just renovate the house? Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? 
My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. Well, maybe she didn't mean to, but if she had pre-wedding jitters or something, well... Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hun, he had some issues, but they worked through them. Hmm, what kind of issues? You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. In other words, it has everything to do what's going on with what's going on now, right? Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. Oh, wow. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. Well, the police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. Goodbye. See you later, hon. Well, if she's being searched for out in the woods, then there's two possible explanations, considering that no one's found her out there. Either she's gotten off the island somehow, or she's in here somewhere. We'll have to pay some closer attention, but for now, let's look at these books here. Espionage in a Bonnet, Female Secret Agents of the Civil War. Okay, so there's some information here about the Civil War. I'm not going to really read all of this here. But uh, some pretty interesting stuff. And this book here seems to tell us more about the Thornton clan. I'll read this one. The Long Cold Night on Black Rock. The years of plenty would soon be upon the Thornton clan, but they would not come without a price. In order to keep a close watch on the production facility, Jeb had a small factory built on the Black Rock property. He did not foresee the potentially disastrous possibilities. When the winds grew cold and the waves made passage back to the mainland difficult, the workers were granted permission to stay overnight in the factory. None survived. Sarah was the first to enter the factory the morning after the accident and never recovered from the shock of what she found within. Many within the town held Sarah in high regard for her kind, open nature. The employees in particular had an unwavering appreciation for Sarah, who had taken on the role of caregiver once the factory moved, onto the island, affectionately calling her Nana. She visited the factory twice a day with bread and treats, even offering a warm bed in the main house to any employee who felt ill. Shortly after the tragedy, Jeb began construction of a housing unit for inclement weather and immediately restaffed the factory despite Sarah's wishes. While Jeb seemed justifiably upset, he was determined to maintain the family business no matter what. When the new employees arrived on the island, Sarah retired to her room, refusing to leave until her death a few years later. It's been said that a handwritten note found in her pocket read, We have sown the black seeds of death and forevermore will harvest only blood. Evidence suggests that this note may have been fabricated, but the chilling message remains a popular element of Thornton lore. Speaking of chilling messages, uh, this right here is pretty creepy. wonder what really happened that night. And we've also got some paintings here on the wall of Jeb Thornton and Sarah Wakeman, the people who were just described in the story. And here's another portrait of Hiriam Thornton. Okay, all very interesting. What do we have over here? We got some oranges, pretty cool. And we got ourselves a tea set. Well, let's make ourselves some tea here. Don't think I need more of that. Whoops, I didn't mean to add one more of those. I meant to get some of these guys. Mm-mm, that hit the spot. And we got ourselves a napkin, pretty cool. So if we have a napkin-related emergency, we'll be covered. Okay, let's see what else is downstairs. There's another picture here on the wall. And you can barely read that at the bottom, but it says Beauregard Thornton. Okay, we have another room over here. Looks like this was used for... I don't know, looks like there's all sorts of things this could have been used for. But let's look around. 
The electricity manual. Hey, this isn't the Tesla coil lab. What's this doing here? For making batteries with common household items. Do it yourself. Okay, so this tells us how to make a battery. Well, that might come in handy for charging this phone up. And we got ourselves an acidic fruit just a minute ago. So maybe we can use all these oranges. We just need some copper coins and nails. What else can we use? We can use soda and vinegar, and there's a picture of some random people here in the back. Maybe that's Jessalyn and Addison. Okay, so we've got I don't the have all the parts I need. We got the wires, but we only have oranges with us. We need nails and we need coins. We can barely see them, but there are nails on the back there, so let's use the hammer to pry them off. What else is in this room? There's a cotton gin here, but we can't do anything with that. And there's some sort of tool here. And a scale. That's pretty cool. What's through this door? Thornton Family Cotton Processing. This door is from the barn that housed the equipment for processing the cotton. Many a worker lost their fingers in the processing room. That didn't sound good. What was that? Oh, I'm sure that's nothing. Let's go through. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, so that was a very bad idea. So note to self, don't do that again. Okay, well, let's see what else we can find around here. What's this here? Okay, cool, we got some pennies, which will work. Looks like there's an old movie projector here, so maybe this place was used as some sort of entertainment room or something. Looks like they had the space for it. Okay, looks like we got all the parts we need, so let's get to work. Well, I guess the first thing we need to do is put... Time to recharge the battery. Hmm. Put the oranges in. <laughs> that looks really funny. All right, now connect them all. All right, let's see if all those oranges did the trick. Hopefully they will, but the phone is going to need some time to charge, so I'm just going to leave it here for now. Wait a second, was that turpentine I just saw? I love turpentine. Tino Tino. Wait a second. Oh no, Tito Tino. I was about to say, was that named after Tino Balducci? Because if so, then that's pretty funny. Okay, a very ominous shadow just passed there. Like I told you, friendly place, like always. Alright, well we've still got some more stuff to explore out here, but we'll do so in the next video.